Hi everyone, this is Zara Faridani Akavan, and today we are going to talk about the seventh painting in the Shahnameh of Shah Tahmaz. It is called Tahmures Defeats the Deeves. Tahmures is uh, Hushang's son that we saw defeat the Black Deev, and he is known as the Deev Binder because he is the one that finally brought the demons under control. Here we, sh we have Tahmures at the stage that he is now um, bound the Deeves, and the mood, as you can see, has completely changed. Instead of the feisty rascals that we saw in the last painting, this time they are very much uh, in their defeated uh, state. Uh, after he defeats them, he they beg him not to kill them, and in return they will teach him 30 languages, which they do. The important characteristic of Persian painting that I will come back to often is that emotion is not shown in the faces of the people, but they are fully charged with a lot of action and emotion, but you actually look for that in the vegetation. For example, even though we have the gestures of the Deves, the actual weight of um, the blow onto the black deep's head as his all his brains are splattered all over the place is echoed and felt in this break in the rocks out of which the red flowers just burst out and then again the mood of the painting is reflected by the vegetation this deep has been defeated but this one um, backs off in uh, fright but then his gestures are mirrored by these plants that show the terror of the Deves. And then the mood of the Deves is also defeated. And you can see this by this exquisitely etched uh, anatomy of this Deve, where you even have the vertebra. And then even though the mood is somber and sad, Sultan Muhammad still has not lost his sense of humor because we have the div pointing to this div and we see that he's trying to draw our attention to the fact that this naughty uh, monkey is pulling on uh, this div's tail, something he would not dare do had he not been in such a, such a sorry state. Uh, this painting is in the Metropolitan Museum of Art uh, from the time of 1970 when it was donated and at the time it was valued at $17,000.